Hi everyone! My name is Val, and I have for my entire life um, always been arachnophobic. Um, and about three years ago, I started hanging out on a uh, subreddit called R Spiders and started learning about them to see if that would help me work through my fear. The great news is that it has. I still have some initial fear reactions to um, mostly particular species of spider, um, but overall it's been really great. I really started appreciating spiders and even finding some of them cute once I um, started looking at it with, from a scientific perspective. So what I'm going to do is take you on a little tour of my uh, two mailbox situation. The story here is that a few days ago I noticed that a female jumping spider, um, don't pronounce the scientific names the way that I do because they're probably wrong, but Phidippus audax, the bull jumping spider, um, I had noticed that one had made a nest in um, my mailbox and I was really excited because last year I actually had one do the same thing and ended up with a full brood of spiderlings um, successfully hatching and going out into the world from my mailbox. Um, but the other night I went to check on her and there was a second, probably also female, probably also gravid, um, bull jumper that had been squished. And our mail that day was not very heavy, and so I don't know if the mailman saw the spider and was scared and squished it on purpose, or if it was an accident or what, but it made me really nervous for the other female in there. She had built her web against the hinge of the mailbox, and my concern was that um, basically any time it got opened her web could be disturbed and um, either she would move and spook someone and they would squish her or she would get too stressed out to lay um, or to, to hatch her spiderlings. So um, I was really upset about the one that had been squished because it was I had to scrape it out of the box and it was very... Um, it was gory, um, and I, I really got upset about it, and I told my fiancé I was worried about the other female and her nest, and I was typing up a post on our spiders, you know, about to ask, hey, should I move it? Should I, like, will she, if she has laid already, will she abandon if I move it? If she hasn't laid, will she still lay? Like, what's the best course of action here? And, um... You know, and I was just upset, and my fiancé said, you know, what's the matter? And I explained it to him, and he said, what can I do to help? And I said, I don't know what to do, so I don't know how to tell you to help. And he said, what if we just got a new mailbox? And so he went to Home Depot at about 8.40 p.m. Um, and got another mailbox, the same, basically the same one that we have. Um, and he, we went out and took the old one down, and I put it, back on the house before he got back and then he put the new one up um or we put the new one up together I should say and um so the old mailbox is back against the house where it was when I bought the house actually it's been there since before I have um been here since before I have um it's back up against my house with the spider in it I chalked do not use on it and he went one step further and put a piece of tape over it so I have to untape it to check on her um, but I will show you her shortly. Um, I did not notice an actual egg sac mass within the nest the other day, um, and today when I was out there I did, so um, I'm going to show you that. Um, I really don't know how well this camera is going to do with getting up close, but um, we'll see how it goes. This is my old mailbox. And I've undone the tape a few times so it comes up easily. And there she is. She's right in the corner there. It looks like she moved again because earlier today I couldn't really see her. But I do see an egg mass within the nest. I don't know if you can tell but there's like a denser area there. Um, and I don't really want to disturb her too much. I'm worried about it so I'm going to pop this back closed. There is a little opening at the bottom of the web, so I'm a little worried. So yeah, that's my new spider friend. Um, I'm hoping that she will successfully rear. At the bottom of the web, I didn't really want to stick, um, I didn't really want to keep the mailbox open too long, 
but um, as I noted at the bottom of the web there is a little hole and so I'm a little bit worried that she's sort of already making an escape route because she's nervous about being disturbed. Um, so I'm gonna have to be really careful about checking on her um, but as I'm going to count it um, today is day one today is I believe when she actually laid um, and I've had mixed results in figuring out how long it's going to be before those eggs hatch um, and then it's usually another I've seen up to like a month before the spiderlings actually come out of the nest itself um, so it'll be interesting to see how that all progresses but um, this is day one of my weird spider baby vlog so um, if that's content that you're interested in at all then feel free to click subscribe. This channel has historically been a bunch of different things. Um, small amounts of spiders that I usually lock and only share with a particular community um, you know and a bunch of other generally weird stuff so um, I can't promise that if you subscribe you'll want to stay subscribed forever but for at least the next couple of months I'm really hoping to do some good spider updates so um and yeah I mean I I hope you enjoyed this video and um I hope you'll get to see more bye